Namaste again, my beautiful queens. I have done the video a couple of days ago, which called his past, present, and future with you. And I promised you, <clears throat> excuse me, that I will do your past, present, and future with him. How do you see the past with him? What is going on in the present time with him and you? And what is possible future between you two? We will do three rows and three cards because I cannot do more because I will not have enough time. But as always, I want you to determine the period of time you want to ask that question. Uh, of course, period of time for the future, not for the present and for the past. We had a video two days ago how he sees past, present and future with you. Now we will see how you see the past, present and what the future holds with you. We're going to use uh, the Arcanum Tarot and uh, I will use... Uh, because today is uh, the 14th, we will use the Dorian Virtue Romancing Angels. And uh, so, choose the number from 1 to uh, 3, either 1 or 2 or 3 for one a man. Please don't choose uh, 1 and 3 for one man, you're going to be confused. So, how you see what was going on between you two, what is going on between you two and what will be going on between you two <clears throat> okay not holding it upside down uh row number one your past with him your present with him your future with him row number two your past your present your future row number three your past your present your future now we are going to take those and uh, do this one card here as an advice or just additional information what will be happening too and uh, three so let me drink some of water and uh, we will go again row number one row number two <clears throat> what is my voice row number three we are going to put this one so far here we will look at uh, this um uh, later so your past with him hero font so interesting very interesting very interesting past so uh for some of you this was your husband for some of you, uh, <laughs> in the past, it was your husband. So it's your ex-husband or uh, ex fiance But this is only for some of you. Uh, for some of you, you met, uh, you completely fell uh, in love with a married a man because this is a symbol of a married man. <clears throat> another, another thing, uh, this is a man who you've met a man because this is equivalent to the pope so a man who um who is uh, who has a certain power and uh, who has um you have a certain uh, like you work together you have a goal together for example um your goal is to build i don't know the center for for unprivileged children or something else um, so, uh, you just met him and you thought to yourself, this is the man of my life. This is a man I would want to spend my whole life with. This is a perfect man. He's the best. He always does everything right. This is a traditionalist type of a man, uh, too much into tradition. He's respectable. He holds his feelings, uh, under rigid control. Uh, sometimes they are <clears throat> so-called old-fashioned old type of a man who uh, who is not modern at all. Like he needs to get a blessing of your mother, blessing of your father, blessing of your whole family in order to take you out to the theater. So uh, <clears throat> it's it's a very good. Uh, of course, if you are dealing with narcissistic psychopaths, this this would be a wrong wrong 
a uh, wrong thing for you. Maybe you thought he was like this, okay, because narcissists can wear masks uh, very skillfully. So maybe you thought he was like this, but um, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe not, but this is how you, you saw him like this. Maybe he is like this, he was like this, or he probably uh, seemed to you like this, but it's just, it could be a teacher. You fell for a teacher, uh, a spiritual teacher, or a teacher in your school, or a teacher in your university, so, or, or your boss or somebody you admire so this is your past with this man <clears throat> your present with this okay well it all makes sense now your present nothing is happening in the present what you see in uh, in this card is you see the four of uh, swords four of swords in this deck looks like the um uh, the meditation, a man sitting in meditation. Unfortunately, it's an absolute stagnation. It's nothing's happening. Nothing is going on. And uh, for some of you, it's true. This man, this can be a married man. So he, nothing is going on because he can't. If he's not married, then nothing is going on because he consider it's inappropriate. But uh, this is uh, the present. What is in present happening between you two? Uh, nothing is happening between you two. Either you both took time out if something was happening or uh, nothing started yet or um, nothing um or it started but kind of hanging out there. Uh, the situation in which you uh, cannot change anything, no matter what you do, you cannot change anything, or he cannot change anything, or both of you cannot change anything in this period of time. Of course, you know, this would would require more cards to look into it. Now, why? Because uh, very often um, the Four of Swords shows karma, so... Uh, uh, would be needing to look okay what's there and where is it going is it going anywhere because you what happens in a position condition like this you can be stuck in this uh, uh, expecting waiting for quite a bit of time but also uh, he can have a past which is very um, which has a lot of power over him or or you you can have that past but there, you are not building relationship or you're not um, moving your relationship anywhere uh, nothing is going on right now um, some of you in silent, you don't, you don't even talk. Uh, some of you got hurt and need time to heal. You found out something, maybe you found out that he, he's not gonna do anything about you, and and uh, you are healing and you're trying to cope. And you know, being honest with you, when I see this card, I say, please, girls, find a, a psych um, a psychologist, and don't think a psychologist it means you're crazy. Psychologist helps you find the answer. Uh, psychologist is someone who understands how to help it's not somebody who's going to tell you you're crazy that's a psychiatrist that we're talking about psychology especially gifted psychologist um, it, please if you need a healer give me um, email me I will give you info of Madhumita uh, but you know usually there is no sex there is no love making there is sometimes no communication sometimes separation nothing is going on let's see what's gonna be happening okay this is not nobody knows oh boy so uh very, very complicated situation because two major arcana the fool can mean uh, several things the fool can mean that uh, it's not going to be become any serious in the future but the fool also can mean um the thing is that flirt a uh, fool means uh, in relationship fool means suddenly spontaneous uh, development of relationship but it's just well the problem with the fool that the fool is not a uh, serious the fool does not belong to nobody uh, and does not belong to himself so you can see the cliff here and um, 
so the destiny can test uh, you about this man. So uh, probably there will be a situation in which you would have to completely trust uh, the source, the universe, and make this step and uh, believing that you're going to be lifted above the ground. Um, this is the beginning of the romance. Uh, these are the circumstances which just happened and then you just, you know, it just happened and suddenly you're talking, you're flirting and it seems like it, it's the beginning of, a, of a something new with him you starting or it's a new stage in your relationship but unfortunately it's not possible to predict where it is going when you see the fool which is a zero arcana it's not even a first arcana it's a zero arcana they say it's a child which is not born the child is there in a ma mom's womb but we don't know he's going to be born to be an artist uh, he's going to change the world he's going to become a movie star uh, or he's going to become you know uh, you know maybe uh, someone who is going to make uh, something evil do something evil and make people suffer we don't know it's unborn child so it's a beginning yes it is there yes but where it is going we don't know we can talk about spontaneous uh, events we can talk about erotic we can talk about fantasies we can talk about sensuality in passion uh, crazily making love with each other planning for the future but where it is all going we don't know we would have to look into it now uh the door in virtue uh what do we have here pay attention to the red flags so pay attention to the red flags when all these crazy insane things uh, beautiful things are gonna start happen please try not to completely lose your head and plan for 20 years ahead just pay attention to the red flags it's not negative a card it's a warning so this is uh this is it for row number one the row number two let's move it a little bit your past with him okay uh all right so you met um some of you met at some celebration something connected with people being together um you know gathering together i i hope it's not a bar but why not a bar a restaurant a birthday a, um, some some place when people are having fun because this is how it all uh, started for you uh at some point unfortunately uh this card is positive but at some point unfortunately shows a third party relationship uh, if it's your pro if it is your story uh but you know you met you started to flirt you started to talk it was so much fun some of you met at the wedding or somebody's engagement or some baby was born and you were celebrated you know it was celebration of something and it was so sweet and so nice and you clicked and you felt this butterflies it was a so romantic it's a positive card it's uh, this card which is called holiday of love and you felt those feelings and emotions and you were like oh my god what a guy and he was like oh my god what a girl and uh you know beautiful it all, it all started very very beautiful so it seemed to you you found uh, the one uh, that after winter time came springtime uh emotionally you felt connected with him um mentally probably you know even spiritually some of you uh and you saw in him that uh, he is going to fulfill all your dreams and he is going to be the one and then you're going to be happily ever after let's see what's going on right now if if, if it was as uh, good okay What's going on right now? I don't like page and knight of swords. What's going on right now? Of course, girls, if it resonates, if it doesn't resonate, of course, not your story. But right now we are having beautiful uh, sex. Uh, and um, the problem with page, the pages, this is either happening right now between you two. Or this is going to happen in the nearest future because uh, especially if you're dealing with a man of, of, of course, once, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or if you deal with a younger man than you. Uh, 
a lot of enthusiasm from his side, uh, lots of sexuality, sensuality, I want you, I want to see you, I want to hold you, I want to make love with you, but uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, um, uh, this is the, uh, <clears throat> this is again the flirt, this is desire, this is chemistry, but unfortunately, this is not um something it's not a man who he's involved with his uh, uh not deeply yet involved uh there could be a hope in here if you just give him time but unfortunately uh he's spontaneous it's not a mature even if he's 49 he's not mature he um mostly follows the instincts the lower chakra muladhara the root chakra impulses uh, and uh, his you know his sexual sensual he can make love to you up to the point you forget your name uh he's passionate but um unfortunately um, unfortunately, he is uh, not reliable, you know, not a reliable who, uh, it's a man who lives today, you know, I, today, I'm here today with you babes, and if you try to ask him where it is all going, how it is all going to be developing, is he might tell you, no, don't babes, don't ask me this question, you know, uh, I'm holding you now, you're holding me now, and why to bother, you know, tomorrow will come, or tomorrow we'll think about it, <clears throat> so, um, Lover of One Night, this card has a nickname, this one is, and then uh, their, um, uh, their night. Of, uh, once has those uh, Lover of One or Several Nights, so you can't rely on him and you, you know, plan having family with him. Let's see what the future. <clears throat> well, uh, it can be. So here is advice to you, Empress. You can become his Empress. He can stay with you. If you are smart, definitely uh, Empress is older, uh, either by age. <clears throat> why am I not able to speak? Either by age she's older or she's um, socially you are higher than him. He's a boy. Uh, again, the uh, by age or by any other means. So uh, the future can it can work out because this is uh, the the emperor brings the union of two people together and uh, says that things are going to be uh, wonderful. But also empress brings the dynamic similar to the ones the dynamic when people are uh, something starts to, to developing very fast. Um, empress is. Uh, the symbol of uh, true love but at the same time it bothers me and person this boy that I want you I don't want you to take on to this role you know I am your mama I am your papa I am your sister I am your lover you are my baby I will take care of you my baby Empress can so-called train the man don't tell a man that you can train him and not change him but you know you can make him you can mature him if you are wise if you're really really wise because what happens is um you are out of his league empress is out of the league of course of a page page is a, is a child but still there is um a chance for true earthy love you can pull him to the level of if not emperor but you can put him to the level of you know king of once um also um you can have uh, you can have future with him you can have children with him but um but uh you have to understand that he, she's very influential so you can have uh, enormous influence on him so you can teach him how not to, uh, you know, jump from bed to bed. You can make him understand uh, that um, warmth and togetherness with someone who knows you, for, with someone who understands you, with someone who will be uh, there for you and with you. Um, your influence is, is huge on him. So uh, please just... Uh, use your empress wisdom and you can bring him to the point of uh, king of wands what is here trust 
Interesting. So, yeah, you got yourself uh, a case of this hot, uh, hot boy who wants to run around and, you know, um, kind of make himself feel good by uh, breaking hard, breaking hard, by conquering hearts. But you can, uh, I believe this is more on uh, to, uh, for him. Teach him to trust you. Teach him to believe you. Teach him to see things deeper. Um, <clears throat> this situation is calling for you to have faith. Very interesting. I would pull a couple more cards here. So, this is number two. <clears throat> number three. The last one. Number three. Your past. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We just were talking about your brother. The past. <clears throat> he saw, he took it, and he won. <clears throat> so the past happened as a extreme sexual attraction of yours to him. We're looking at yours. So you see him. You see him and you feel the fire burning in your arms, in your heart. He does the same. This is passion. So your past with him is passion. You just felt uh, instead of blood, the war fire. Uh, unfortunately, of course, this is this is the case of the same case of Paige over once. He uh, loves passionately and uh, then uh, disappears. He's free lover. <clears throat> this man is a free lover, freedom lover, especially if you're dealing with again, we are dealing with fire signs, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in sun, moon or rising. Uh, but as I already told you many, many times, uh, if you're dealing with a scorp, scorp can be anybody from uh, <clears throat> any sign. So you felt pull, magnetic pull. You felt you want this man. You felt you want to hold him. You want to kiss him. You, you, you want to be with him. So for some of you, it means that uh, <clears throat> pretty fast you were ending up. Uh, making love with each other, um, but unfortunately, uh, for some of you, you are married. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, this man became your escape from a routine, or you are in relationship, but your relationship became a routine, and suddenly, you get this one. And it brought you out of your routine. It's unfortunately a little bit dangerous. Uh, and um, that's the past. Let's see the present. Okay. I am not extremely thrilled. Two of Pentacles present. Who is playing with who? Two of Pentacles always talks about two partners so what i just said you probably were in relationship or you were married but it became a routine because i'm looking at your present and uh, <clears throat> you are now stuck with him you're thinking about him you're wanting him but you have already somebody in your life and you do not know what to do with all of this anymore another thing it can be that it happened to both of you. He was married, you were married, both are in dead marriages, nothing is going on. You not you no longer have connections through heart, soul, body, air, or anything else. He is your escape from a routine, it makes you feel like a natural woman. And his escape is you, your escape is him. The decision cannot be made because the decision cannot be made. He cannot live because he <clears throat> has business, house, whatever. You cannot live because you have your reasons and now you're stuck. You don't know what to do. So now you're friends with benefits. Um, this is could be the story. So you are juggling two relationships. You are juggling 
two men or both of you are juggling two relationships or one of you could it be him yes it could be him who is uh, juggling two relationships so he is married you are not and uh, decisions cannot be made because he wants to keep you and but he cannot leave because he wants to keep the way of life he's used to um this needs a reading let's see the few okay very interesting the thing is my beautiful queens this man <clears throat> if i just described you the dead end situation if your situation i have just described is a dead end both of you married you are married he is married something a dead end but you became this fling or lovers or escape from morality from each other um then the future is uh if you then the if you are in this situation the future would be king of a once it's not this guy so your future is a different man the dead end situation needs to end or will end of course you know uh this is general reading if it rings the bell then it's something you need to hear if you're single if you are alone and you got stuck with either a married man or a man who is still in relationship and can't get out of there, this will come out of your life. The destiny is going to give you king, my favorite, my favorite king, king of wands. Why my favorite king? Because I think we would be perfect together. Now, my, my, my uh, father of my children is is the uh, Pisces he is water and he's perfect um king of wands so this is your destiny in the future your future is not this situation in which you are stuck not this situation because it looks like you are stuck it's not developing juggling two of wands if we talk about relationship, this relationship is similar to a hangman. It's not going anywhere. You're both stuck. Decisions cannot be made. Nothing can be changed. So you can be just staying there being a lover or being a, uh, somebody who he's not going to spend the uh, rest of his life or, or years to come. Your uh, future is a different man. The king of wands. During soulmate. Soulmate. This is your soulmate. And it's not this man right here. It's a different, your future is with a different man, with a beautiful, charismatic, passion, sensual, masculine king of wands. This is it, my beautiful queens. I hope it was helpful. Wishing you all the most beautiful things in the world. Namaste.